Hi everyone, how's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. Anyway, as usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Have you noticed a lot of two-factor authentication prompts lately? Are you getting email verification codes that take forever to arrive, so you have to request another? Perhaps you are asked to do CAPTCHAs to prove you're human, and they seem to be getting more complex all the time or simply not working at all. Why do you think that might be? We'll come back to that. Did you know we're in a breakthrough year for biometric payment systems? According to this story from CNBC, JP Morgan and MasterCard are on board with the technology and intend a wide rollout in the near future, following successful trials. In March this year, JP Morgan signed a deal with Pop ID to begin a broad release of biometric payment systems in 2025. A MasterCard spokesman told CNBC, our focus on biometrics as a secure way to verify identity, replacing the password with the person, is at the heart of our efforts in this area. Apple Pay already lets you pay with a face scan, while Amazon have introduced Pay by Palm in many of their real-world stores. Visa showcased their latest Palm biometric payment set up at an event in Singapore earlier this year. The following is a report from biometricupdate.com. Payments giant Visa showcased its Pay by Palm biometric payment technology at an event marking the transformation of its Singapore Innovation Center last week. During the event, visitors were invited to use the Palm Reader and link their signature to their payment card for a transaction. The future of biometric payments is promising and is set to revolutionize the retail experience, says Kunal Chatterjee, head of innovation at Visa Asia Pacific. The technology is still relatively nascent and most likely won't become mass market for a while, he adds. Various factors influence the acceptance of biometric payments, including regulation, technology, and consumer acceptance, which often depends on the market. As we covered in a recent This Week, PayPal is pushing out its own biometric payment systems in the name of preventing fraud. As always, this is not just an issue in the West. Chinese companies have been leading this race for a while, with Alipay having biometric payment options since 2015. China's largest digital payment service, Alipay, now offers its clients a facial recognition login option, according to reports by China Daily. At a conference held earlier this year, Cao Kai, a senior director of Zhejiang Ant Small Microfinancial Services Group, the Alibaba affiliate that owns Alipay, commented that biological identification will become very important in the future. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you won't miss any updates. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstandings. Thank you. Moscow's metro system has been using facial recognition cameras for biometric payments for over a year. The following is a report from RailwayGazette.com. Moscow Metro reports that 100 million trips have now been made using biometric payment, with the Russian-made system having proven its utmost security and reliability and further deployment planned. Facial recognition cameras link a person to their payment option, removing the need for a ticket, smart card, or mobile device. And it's not just payments. Replacing the password with the person has already spread to other areas. Hoping to corral support for biometrics from the right, national governments are collecting biometrics to curb illegal immigration. You can expect that to spread. The European Union will be implementing a new Biometric Entry Exit System, or EASE, as soon as October of this year. The following is a report from Yahoo.com. The Entry Exit System for the EU is due to be introduced in October or November 2024. Every time a British person tries to enter the EU and wider Shenzhen area, they must give their fingerprint and facial biometric, and the electronic travel authorization process has to be supervised by a European frontier official. Biometric signing is on the rise too. Laptops, tablets, and smartphones already come with face reading and fingerprint scanning technology to confirm your identity. Social media companies have been collecting biometric data for security and identification purposes for years. 
Google Play launched a new biometric accessibility feature only a couple of weeks ago. It's all just so convenient, isn't it? So much faster than emailing security codes and solving increasingly impossible captures, both of which have unaccountably got harder and more complicated recently and will doubtless continue to do so. That's how they get you. Convenience. They won't ever remove the old-fashioned ways of accessing your accounts, but it will get increasingly slow and difficult to use while biometrics get faster and easier. Meanwhile, the propaganda will begin to flow. Influencers will be paid to use cool futuristic biometric payment options that feel like having superpowers in contrived viral videos. Biometrics will save the day in a trendy movie or TV show. Some old fuddy-duddy will go on Question Time and rant about the new technology just before saying something racist or denying climate change. Maybe a major hack or cyber attack will only affect those who haven't switched to biometric authentication yet. You get the idea. And all the while, supranational corporate megaliths will be creating a massive database of voice recordings, finger and palm prints, facial and retinal scans. It's a good thing we're ruled by a morally upright elite. Imagine the damage they could do with all of that. Now it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.